This episode is brought to you by Domain.com. So you've got a budget of around 400 bucks, give or take, and you're thinking about getting the Nexus 5X, but is it worth it? If you felt the Nexus 6 was a bit too expensive, and it looks like many people did, then you might be excited about the pricing of the Nexus 5X. It starts at just $379 for the 16 gigabyte version and has a pretty enticing set of specs. But does it compare to the value for money that the original Nexus 5 represented two years ago? The market has moved on since then and prices have fallen, and the Nexus 5 was originally offered at $349. Is the Nexus 5X a good deal. Well first let's talk about why it might be. The first standout feature of the Nexus 5X, both figuratively and literally, is the 12.3 megapixel main camera. Google knew it had to work on this front. One of the biggest disappointments around the Nexus 5 original was the performance of the 8 megapixel camera, and it looks as though the 5X is going to be capable of capturing quality shots, and it needs to be. The front-facing camera has also been overhauled in the wake of a selfie mania that's currently going on, and it's rated at 5 megapixel, undoubtedly a massive improvement over the over 1.3 megapixel effort of its predecessor. Nexus imprint is the other thing that immediately jumps out about the 5X. A conveniently placed fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone under the camera is a smart move, and less awkward to use than the one-handed traditional home button placement. It only requires a single touch and looks lightning fast. The HexaCore Snapdragon 808 backed by two gigabytes of RAM looks a little lightweight compared to current flagships. Storage options are the same, 16 or 32 gigabytes. For most people, 16 gigabytes isn't gonna be enough in the long term, but an extra 16 gigabytes only costs 50 bucks, and there's no micro SD card slot. $429 in total is relatively cheap, but it's not a special price when you look at what's out there. The battery is a respectable 2700 milliamp hours and non-removable. Now let's talk about the compromises. There are a couple of somewhat disappointing compromises in the Nexus 5X. Wireless charging support has been dropped. Google has gone all in with the USB Type-C instead. It's reversible, so it should be much easier to plug in. But for anyone used to wireless charging, it's still going to feel like a step back. Now let's compare the 5X with its competitors with regards to price. The Asus Zenfone 2 is only 300 bucks, and it manages to pack a 5.5 inch display with 2.3 gigahertz quad-core processor and four gigabytes of RAM. The OnePlus 2 starts at $329 and has an octa-core processor, more RAM, a bigger battery, USB Type-C support, and a fingerprint sensor. You could pick up an LG G3 for around 330 bucks right now with a 5.5 inch 2560 by 1440 pixel display. Even the Moto X Style, Pure, is only $400 and boasts a 5.7 inch display and a 21 megapixel camera. Let's just take a moment for some historical context. Two years ago in November, the Nexus 5 original was released and it was groundbreaking. It made geeks giddy with excitement. Why? It had a great system on a chip, a great GPU. It was flagship power for 350 bucks. It got a lot of people excited. So you understand there was a lot of high hopes for the 5X. Now the 5X is still a great deal, it really is. If you like that form factor and you like that size and you love vanilla Android, it's still a great deal. It's just not quite the kick geeks were hoping for. Nabil, yes you do deserve a t-shirt. I'll be sending it to you. Not only did you find a great domain name, but you proved that you could find the all important Dot com. Now why is that? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. Save 15% on domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace. Love to connect with you right here on Google Plus or Twitter. You don't want to forget about my brothers and sister in Android who are working super hard to be your source for all things Android.